What's up guys, this is Zach here. Today we're doing a more advanced tutorial. We're going to be going over making a blog in Code Igniter. So you don't even have to know what Code Igniter is. You just got to understand basic PHP functions. And you got to understand object oriented programming a little bit. But even then, if you just barely understand PHP functions and you understand enough, like you've used the database before, you'll be able to do this because I'll be going over it pretty easily. So let's start out by getting Code Igniter. So what's Code Igniter? It is... Wow, I don't even remember how to spell it. Oh, thank you, Google. I'm just kidding. So, guys, Coding Editor is a PHP framework, and it's been around a long time, and the people making it, Ellis Lab, if that's even how you say it, are trying to get rid of it. They don't want to make it anymore, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully, it still keeps getting developed, but it's still pretty good. I like it. I still use it. You can make APIs with it really easy. There's all kinds of cool stuff people made for it. So, yeah, that's my school crap. Uh, let's put this into htdocs. And let's call it, so you got a bunch of random stuff in here. Let's call it blog. So the way you set up Coding Writer for the first time is you got to go in here. I'm going to browse through all this crap in Coda. You can just do it in the regular finder. But so here's the Coding Writer basic install area right here. So what we got to do first is we got to go into application, got to go into config, and let's set up some configuration stuff. So base URL you can leave blank. We will fix this and remove this right now because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this cool little ht access file to make it so you don't ever see .php anywhere in the browser. So now we're going down to URI protocol. A lot of this stuff you can leave blank. You don't even have to understand. If you want to know what this stuff is, Codeigniter has awesome documentation, so check that out. We'll go down here, and a good thing I like to turn on, which I don't know why it isn't, automatically turned on is global xss filtering i'm not going to be going over all that you can google it just pretty much make sure people aren't trying to hack your website so we don't need to have this on either you can google this it's really useful if you're building some type of uh, website where you sell stuff because people can make a hack so someone clicks on the link and they instantly just bought it stuff like that and let's save it that's all you got to do in config it's real simple so let's go back to the files here and let's go back to the main folder. So Code Igniter, the main Code Igniter folder we have called blog. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a new file. You're going to call it .htaccess. And you're going to paste in this code that I'll have in the description. Because it's just a bunch of random stuff to make sure you don't have to show the index.php in here. The only thing you're going to have to change is the rewrite base. Since mine's in the base of my web directory slash blog, I put slash blog. So then save that, and you're all good. And now, the last thing we're going to do is I can close this. It's from my last tutorial. No, don't save. Okay, so now, last thing we got to do here to get it basically set up is we got to set up the database. So go back to config and go to database. And I'm sure you've been familiar with PHP my admin, so I'll go over to that localhost and PHP my admin. And let's make a new database. Let's call it, I don't even know, let's call it blog. Because we'll be doing this, making all kinds of random stuff in this database. So now that we made it, let's go over here. Username. Never have your username and password be root and root unless you're on your local server. If that's on your website, you're just looking to get hacked. So now we save that. That's all the database name, password, and username. And the host name is localhost. Now we can go back into the config directory go to autoload.php and this will set it up so it always auto loads the database so you don't have to manually load in the database on every page you use this since we're going to be using it a lot so database is under libraries so all you have to do in this array right here is just put database and you're all set we're going to be using sessions actually too so you might as well for now just put session and now we are all friggin set in the next video, we'll actually be getting into coding. I know I went over that fast. I like to go fast because I know people don't want to watch videos that are 25 million minutes long. Yeah, so thanks, guys. We'll go over routes, understand all this stuff in Codeigniter, and making a little blog. So, yeah, stay tuned. Watch next time, and, yeah, see you then. Please subscribe.